Good morning, it's Lynn from Utopia Farms. It's a wet one today, but uh, that's okay. The tractor's not fixed yet, so uh, we were laid up anyway. So uh, we've got people coming over from west of London, which is a really long drive. They're looking for some rams, so that's what we'll be doing today. But who knows what's happening in the barn. So let's go on in there and have a look. We're just going to go in for lunch and a truck with a box just pulled up. So these guys came a long way. So these guys left at the crack of dawn to get here at this time. Here we are looking at the rams. Looks like they're going to pick one of the triplet rams. Suffix, and now they got to make a Dorset decision. So they chose one of our triplets. The Suffolk Graham. He's a real sweetheart. One of my pets. And then he got a nice, uh, nice ram from Ferdinand over here. Nice long ram. Beautiful face on him. We do all round bales. Oh, and we just trimmed his their hooves yesterday, so yeah. they're. Uh, they have a left uh, fetish problem. The Sussex have all those traits. Yeah. The only traits they don't have, you can't breed them in the heat. Yeah. So that's the biggest like, fault. They don't like the heat. They're they're also, they are also black, good confirmation so on them. <laughs> but 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 they are probably one of the yeah. stronger sheep you're ever gonna like find. You're our, very our pretty. Contact. You guys I are very pretty. Hi, sweetheart. He's, he's a big boy. <laughs> he's 150 pounds at 120 days. So he's a bruiser. He's not really a showy style, but he's got good confirmation and everything. There's nothing wrong with him. But I'm cu we're curious how he'll do at a show because he's not that tall, you know, showy he's guy. Big. He's a bruiser. He's a bruiser. I, so his nice. his name is Killer. We haven't oh. announced it yet, but we're gonna, it's a K year, so he's going to be Killer. <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh. And that little guy's a February lamb that came over, so he's younger. Yeah. Somebody told me the other day that he's, uh, he's going to get bad lambs. Too heavy. <laughs> nah, that's the way you want him. Sheep go sky high there. So does it look like it looks like on YouTube? Yes, it does look exactly <laughs> right. So the, guy, the guys that want to store hay in these. So unfortunately, it's a rainy day, so these guys are going to have a wet drive home for a thing. So we're hoping that the weather will clear up on their drive. So we're going to load them up. So we're going to set the ramp up and try to get them up the ramp. Ben and Max, stay back. Okay, here's the loading process, and just as we started loading, uh, it started to pour. So the poor guys are going to have a really wet drive home. But we put uh, Hamish's wool at the bottom so that they wouldn't slip around, and hope we're hoping that it'll dry up on their way home. Our sheep are going to think they're going to melt out there because usually they run in in the rain. <laughs> They'll be okay. But he got two friendly ones. They did. Two twins here. 22 year old boys in the sheep industry. It's always nice to see people, young people doing well. It stopped. So. Hey, buddies. But they should be fine. We stand behind the products. So. I, need you, I need you to come back. So. <laughs> no, I own a bad customer. So. That's my goal. <laughs> this is my land. We raise it for myself. 
Hi guys. So they got to uh, see that wool on the bottom is stopping it from slipping when they're driving. So that way they, uh, they'll be more comfortable when things get wet they their little hooves can slip so hi sweethearts and here they go off to western ontario long drive i think that's like a seven hour drive there they go arnie went and checked the mail this afternoon and we were surprised by this beautiful handmade card. You can see with all the little diamond studs and the beautiful sheep. And it turns out it's from Tamara, who all you guys know. Um, because she's one of our regular followers and subscribers on YouTube. And Tamara... Seriously, thank you very much for that. I really appreciate it. It's nice to be recognized. And uh, we'll see what we can do about uh, something from Gladiator. Watch the mailbox. <laughs> well, the rain finally stopped. It just poured all afternoon. So we basically decided to take it easy didn't do too much sheep stuff today after um, the two rams left and right now Arnie's just uh, shutting the barn doors down and stuff and we're gonna call it a night a, a night so thank you for joining us I know it's a little bit of a shorter video today but uh, we'll be posting again tomorrow so I hope you'll join us for the next episode at Utopia Farms then. Bye for now.